I found this guy relatively recently, and although I disagree with some of his points, he actually gave a lot of good advice. If your channel is dead, restart and start a new channel, bro. Don't even like try to revive your dead channel. It's not gonna work, trust me. I don't think that it's ever necessary to restart your channel. The reason is my channel. If you do have a type B channel and all you do is type beats and for the longest time you've been making Travis Scott type beats and then you decide that you don't want to make those anymore, you want to make a different type B like a Drake type beat, I still don't think it's necessary to start a new channel. The algorithm eventually is gonna figure it out. Make sure your beats are fucking fire. Make sure they're good quality, bro. Your beats have to be good. One thing I like to do is, I still do it till this day, is um, compare your beats to popular songs in your genre and listen to how it's mixed and, you know, judge all of that. I think what he's talking about here is reference tracks. And it is true that it always is going to help you with your mix if you have a reference track. I use reference tracks, and although I can never get it quite perfect, it definitely gets you more of the way there. Just make sure that it's similar sonically to what you're doing. Number three, once you have good beats, you started a new channel because your other channel was dead, you want to pick one niche and one to two artists to stick to. I don't like the concept of niching down because I think that you're going to get burnt out on whatever couple artists that you're doing. Of course, it's going to give you more branding and things like that, and it's going to give you more of a niche, your own niche. But at the same time, you would have to choose artists that are so small at this point for your niche for this to even work. And also, like I said, it goes back to the point, I think that algorithms are getting smarter. Step number four, upload beats every single day. Like, I can't stress this enough. I'm not going to tell you to upload every other day because, you know, it's just like 100% better to upload every single day. I did do it for a year, but it was during the shutdown, so I wasn't working. This guy, and I hate to make assumptions, but he's probably living with his parents. He probably doesn't have that much responsibility. Honestly, a once a week upload is fine. Step number five, you do want to do keyword research and all that shit. This is something that I'm on the fence about because again, I think that the algorithms are getting smarter. Is it good to research keywords? If all you're doing is making, you know, Travis Scott type beats, there's only so many keywords that you can use in that niche and there's so many other people in that exact niche, the keywords aren't going to help you that much. If you are switching up your different type beats, then yeah, in that case, throwing some keywords into the description is going to help you a lot more. One thing that I want to say about this is there's a big difference between tags, which everybody knows what a YouTube tag is. They, they do pretty much nothing. There's honestly no point in even using them. I don't use them anymore. They don't get you any traction. Keywords have always been things that got you more traction. As for hashtags, you can put hashtags on long form videos. Shorts though is where the hashtags are really going to come into play. YouTube only allows up to 60 hashtags on the short. If you use over 60 hashtags, YouTube is going to ignore all the hashtags. 59 will do and they do work well on the short shelf because it works very similar to Instagram now. There's other rapper in your type B videos and this just attracts more views because like the viewers could just see the actual rapper and like it makes sense. Whatever a type B channel does with their thumbnails, I've noticed that a lot of people will be like find a successful type beat maker and then copy their thumbnails. Why would I not watch the person with more views and more social proof? over the person that just copied the thumbnail. Do thumbnails that pop. One thing that I do is I'll look at all of the different people in my niche and then I'll make a thumbnail that stands out. So I want it to be not like theirs. And next up, I want to talk about the description because it is quite important because when a rapper or a viewer clicks your video, they're probably going to click on the description to find a purchase link. He's right. You definitely want to have the link easily accessible. Do not comment on other producers' videos saying, yo, bro, your beats are far. It would, like, we, we know damn well you're not listening to the full video. You're just commenting in hopes of getting more views and people to come to your channel. Like, be forever. And so the ultimate reason why you should not be fucking doing this, bro, is because it ruins your chances of getting on an algorithm. So few people talk about this. And I was talking about this back in 2020. Producers that are commenting on other producers beats. The majority of the people that watch me right now are beat makers. That's, that's who I'm kind of marketing toward. So, beat makers commenting on my videos is fine. If I put up this type beat and a bunch of beat makers came in to come comment on it, even though they don't really care, they didn't really listen to it, they watched like maybe 20 seconds, if that, they left a comment. That's gonna tell the algorithm that my type beats are for other beat makers. 
which obviously that's not going to make me any money. That's not good. Not only that, but some of your algorithmic reach is based on the stuff that you watch. So if you are a producer, just go into other producers' channels just to comment on the type beat and hope that a bunch of other producers come to your channel to comment on your type beat. That's going to mess you all up. And that's some of, I think, what this kid was saying with starting a new channel, people will mess their whole channel up beyond recognition with doing little things like this to where the algorithm has no idea if would even push you to. Be very, very careful. I don't think it's necessary to start a new channel, but just stop making these mistakes. <laughs> <laughs>